Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an autumn winter haul. This is kind of a high-low one, so I have some very fancy things here. I have some more affordable pieces, just a little mix of everything. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. This video is kindly being part sponsored by Abercrombie, who I have worked with a few times before now. And if you've watched any of my fashion videos over the past year or so, I'd say, you'll know how obsessed with the items I've become. Like whenever I go onto their new arrivals, there's always so much that I want. Their pieces are really good quality and very well priced as well. I did get a few new in bits. I will be sharing with you what I got. As always, I will include links to everything in the description section, and I'll also pop in my sizes as well if you did wanna check anything out. Out. They were also nice enough to give me a discount code as well, so you can take 15% off your order. This one's only available for three days, but it is available in the UK and the US this time. I think the discount code is AFAMY, but I will double check that and pop it on screen, and I'll also pop all the details in the description section. So first up, and probably my favorite piece of this entire haul, is this absolute dream of a jacket. Oh my goodness, I love their puffer jackets. This is my third one now. My first one I got last year, and I got it in like this kind of deep brown color. Saw that they re-released it in this beautiful snowy white color, and I just could not resist. What's great about these is that they do have a cropped length as well, and it's not overly short, so it's still definitely gonna keep you warm, but because these do tend to be a little bit bulky, the crop length really does help in it not looking totally overwhelming. So you still get that beautiful puffy element, but just in a slight more proportional way and it is the softest thing it is so unbelievably cute I absolutely love it it is fully lined as well in this beautiful silky white lining you have a button closure you have a little collar which stands up it was really high quality as well and it fits really really well I did size down in this one because it is supposed to be more of an oversized fit it's still a little bit oversized but I just prefer the fit on the smaller one um, but yeah absolutely love this so gorgeous Next up are a pair of jeans, and these are from their Curve Love line. If you've not checked these out, you do have a slightly bigger bottom half than you do your top half. I would definitely recommend. I generally take two sizes bigger on my bottom than my top, just because I have wider hips. And these are a total, total revelation. They are so good. I first discovered them when I found these straight leg jeans there. And since then, I've just been stalking the entire line because they're so wonderful. They are crazy, crazy comfy. So they have the most amazing amount of stretch, but somehow, even though they are like super stretchy, so they're really comfortable, they also have a good amount of kind of compression. So they do just shape your body and I love them, just absolutely love them. So I wanted to check out their skinny jeans and I found these, I was in the market for a pair of black jeans. I know not everyone's gonna like these because of the distressed hem. I kind of love them, but definitely more of a love it or hate it thing. I do believe they have some kind of regular hem ones as well. But the fit on these is just fantastic. They're as comfortable as leggings, but have the look of jeans and the feel as well, like they are proper jeans. And I'm just such a fan of these, absolutely love them. I love the fact these come in different lengths as well. So I got my mum the short ones, I went for the regular length ones, but you do have a tall option as well. And these are just so fantastic. Next up is a fleece and oh my days, this fabric is the softest thing I have ever felt. Like if you own anything from Barefoot Dreams and you know that level of softness, this is softer. Like I'm not even kidding. I. I just can't even describe how soft it is. I wish you could kind of reach through and feel it because it is just absolutely incredible. It is the loveliest, fluffiest thing. A fairly lightweight as well, so this isn't like a super, super heavy one, but it still feels very warm and it just feels like you're being cloaked in a blanket. And I know fleeces aren't everyone's cup of tea, but I think they're great, especially now that we live, you know, not in the city, in an apartment, flats tend to be a lot hotter, whereas our house is definitely not that way, so I'm really valuing anything that keeps me warm, and this is just the best thing. So it has pockets on the front, and you have this kind of faux leather trim on both the pockets and um, that kind of front bit. You do have a little zip area as well, so you can use it as a functioning pocket. You have a zip on the front there, and apart from that, just a very simple, very, very comfortable fleece. Um, I went for my regular size. I could have probably sized down if I wanted a smaller fit, but I'm happy with this slightly looser fit. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. So if you like soft things, I would definitely recommend checking this out. It is just the most incredible fabric. 
Now for a slightly more dressy one, but I saw the skirt and I thought it was just absolutely beautiful. I'm always a sucker for a good side slip mini skirt and I thought this was so stunning. The color is absolutely beautiful. It's this really lovely teal color. It is fully lined as well and you do have this amazing side slit and you have this beautiful button detail all the way down. I always love a good button. These are actually kind of just show buttons though. It doesn't fasten up that way. So you do have a zip on the side, but you also have a slight elasticated waist on the back so you can get a really nice close fit. It moves in a really beautiful way. I believe this came in two other colors. I really love this teal color though. I thought it was so beautiful, really nice for any Christmas parties that you might have coming up. I know it's probably a little bit early to think about that, but I am very much getting excited for all the festive dressing that's about to happen. And I just thought this was so beautiful. Now for another fleecy favorite. I told you I've been really getting into my fleeces, but I just love them for keeping nice and toasty. I actually already own this one in another color. I first discovered these, I think it was last year. I got a ton of use out of my one again because our house gets very cold. And um, the one I have is just white on white. I wanted this one, but they sold out in this color combination. So I was so happy to see that they brought it back. It is the most gorgeous thing. So it's just kind of plain fleece all the way through. But then on the front panel, you have this great faux leather uh, quilting design with this color contrast that runs all the way through. You have an asymmetrical button closure on the side here. So you can either fold it down or you can button it up if you want some extra warmth. And then on the back, it's just plain, but you do have that quilting detail following in through the sleeves. I love this. I love this particular color combination, um, but I think they're great in any color. I'm guessing these must be a bestseller because they do them in so many different colors but they're so fantastic. They are so warm, really, really nice to wear. I have these in two sizes now, the small and the extra small. There's not too much in it. It just depends how close you want it to fit, um, but I went for the small in this one and I really, really like the fit. And I just think it's so great. So huge fan of these. If you also like your fleeces and you not check these out, they really are so great and absolutely live up to the hype. Next up is a new bag and I did get this beautiful Tory Burch Peritoe in this gorgeous chestnut color. All of the shades they've released this year are so nice. I had the hardest time choosing, but I wanted a replacement for my Mulberry Tote, which was also in the kind of chestnut color. Absolutely nothing wrong with that bag. So if you're considering it, I still do think it's great. I just wasn't really getting the cost per wear down. And for something so expensive, I just kind of wanted something that achieved the same look, but not quite at that price point. And I saw this and I just thought it was so beautiful. Absolutely love the colorway. So you do have the contrasting little tag there. The color is a really really pretty kind of warm tan brown so it's not like a really deep brown but it's a slightly deeper shade than a regular tan you have the feet on the base there and then on the inside it's the standard peritoe organization so you have the pocket in the middle again with that contrasting color and then you have some pockets either side Apart from that, very, very simple. It's unlined, so it does keep the weight down. So even though it is a full leather bag, it is actually fairly lightweight. And I just love it. So, so great. I love the little detailing of the Tory Burch stamping as well. Very subtle, not too much, like appropriate for work meetings and just the loveliest color combination. Next up, I'm sharing with you what I got from Chanel. If you watched my vlog from the other day, you'll know that we did a little bit of shopping at the Chanel store and I did pick up something. A lot of you guessed it was a little pouch and that's exactly what I got, but I saw the color and I just couldn't resist. I have already undone the ribbon. And here is the dust bag and inside, Ooh, is the little zip pouch. And this is the exact same color as my Chanel mini. I didn't even think that they did this color anymore. I always get so confused by Chanel seasons. Um, but when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness. Like I knew I had to have it. I thought it was so beautiful. And I'm still so in love with the shade. It's just the prettiest color, like a really true like periwinkle blue, but really vibrant, but almost like a pastel at the same time. Really, really pretty. You just have the Chanel logo on the front there. It is a lambskin one. Um, and you guys may know my thoughts on lambskin bags, but SLGs, I tend not to mind as much. Generally speaking, the rule is the smaller the surface area, the less prone it's gonna be to a lot of wear and tear. And the lambskin SLGs I've had so far tend to be doing okay, fingers crossed. Um, just opens up with a zip opening, plain on the inside, but you do have that beautiful smooth zipper with a little Chanel detail right there. I just thought this was beautiful, the loveliest color and just the cutest little thing. Next up are a few festive clothing pieces. I know it's really early, but I tried to get a festive jumper that I really liked last year and I waited until December and then by that time, 
everything that I like sold out. So I was like, I'm not gonna do that this year, so I'm gonna plan ahead. So I have a few different festive clothing pieces here, uh, two Christmas jumpers and then um, one skirt and then one top. Uh, so first up is this adorable sweatshirt. This is more of a casual one. So it is a proper sweatshirt and it does have a fleece lining, but it's not a super heavyweight one. It does fit a little bit slimmer. Um, this one fits okay, but if you wanted a slightly looser fit, then I would say to go up a size. It has the most adorable sequin pattern on the front though it just spells out joy in sequins you have the red the gold and the green and I thought this is just the cutest thing and I like the fact that it's a little bit more casual as well so comfy enough just to wear around but you still have that festive element and then the other Christmas sweater that I got is this really cute black one. This one is a slightly more dressy one, still not like super dressy because it is just a sweater essentially, but you do have these adorable little puff sleeves right there. Again, this is a little bit of a closer fit, so if you wanted a looser fit, then I would say to size up. Uh, you have the cheers right there on the front, and the sequins are in both gold and silver, which just creates the prettiest effect thought that was so adorable and because this one is like a closer fit one I feel like this could work with jeans but also with skirts as well just really versatile and really really festive and now for the skirt and this isn't like a specific festive piece but I definitely think there's like a festive element about it so it's a beautiful polka dot bias cut skirt and you do have this really festive kind of cheery red as the base this beautiful little white dot print all over the fit is really nice and the fabric is so silky and soft so it has a really, really nice swish. I just thought this was beautiful, cute if you wanted to wear it, you know, really dressed up with like a bodysuit or a cami. Also really cute just with a fluffy white sweater, just the most adorable thing. Now for some tops that I got, and I've been really into the kind of more peasant style top, but with a long sleeve, often with like a sheer sleeve. I just think it's really pretty, and I love the look with a pair of straight leg jeans. Just a really nice way to be like a little bit dressed up, but still very, very comfortable as well. Um, so I got a few different options. So this first one is this beautiful green one, which I thought was so stunning. And it is a floral print, but because of the darker shade of green, I don't feel like it looks overly spring, summer, like definitely appropriate to wear now as well. This one has ruching in the body and then it has this beautiful sleeve detail so a very very slight puff sleeve but you do have the volume in the sleeve as well. It is semi sheer and it's cinched in at the wrist and just a really nice one to kind of tuck into jeans or skirts whatever you want and you do have that really beautiful element with the sleeves. And then the final top I got was this gorgeous one. This very much reminds me of kind of Reformation blouses with the beautiful neckline and the sleeves, but it was much more affordable than that. Again, it's semi-sheer sleeves and you have these cuff sleeves with this beautiful button detail. The button detail carries on through the front. You have this gentle sweetheart neckline as well. And then on the back, it cinches in the lower back, but you have this kind of looser pleated detailing on the top half. Really, really pretty Again, beautiful with wearing with skirts. Also really nice with straight leg jeans. Just a really, really lovely one, which I think looks so much more expensive than it actually was. Now for a new hat. I do offer a new hat for when it gets really, really cold. I just wanted something very simple. I prefer my hats to generally be kind of darker colors. I thought this was really nice. I love the bigger pom-pom. I always think it's such a cute feature. And other than that, it's just a very simple kind of knit rib design, but just really, really lovely. Exactly what I was looking for. And it was very, reasonably priced as well. And then finally, I have this coat, and this is kind of a similar design to the J. Crew one I showed a couple of videos ago, except it's a little bit more, a little bit more substantial and a bit softer as well. So the J. Crew one is quite a rigid one, whereas this one is just very, very soft. And to be honest, I didn't have overly high hopes for the quality. You know, I loved the color and the design, but I wasn't expecting anything incredible. And I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. Like it wasn't too much money at all, and I love the fit and the fabric is. So so, so crazy soft and the color is just really beautiful a really lovely deep wine shade I believe these do come in a few different colors as well um, and you have this button detail so it is a double breasted one pockets on the front there it is online just like the J Crew one a slightly longer fit as well and just a really really snugly warm one so absolutely delighted with this I feel like it was such a find and oh it's just the softest fabric 
So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below. I will also pop in my sizes for reference. And I'll also pin everything in a comment as well because I know YouTube mobile are making it harder to find the description section. So I'll put everything in a comment also. If you have any other questions for me, then leave me a comment down below. And if you like these high low hauls, please do give this video a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.